G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how to check if a website backlink is safe or spam. Let's jump into it. So let's just say these guys have reached out to you, okay? You've got your website, you wanna rank it. They say, hey, I've got a high DR website here. I uh, wanna give you a backlink. How do you check if it's safe? Well, let me walk you through the steps that I take every single time. So this is what you want to do. First of all, have a look at the website. Check out to see if it's a little bit PBNE. And uh, first of all, if it passes that check. Now, if you want to learn more about uh, PBN, how to check PBNs, I will have a link to that. But let's focus on this. We're focusing to see, we're trying to check if a website is safe for a backlink. So, all right, we've had a look at it. Let's just say that this one passes. Okay, it looks cool. Now, where do we go? Let's have a look at the contact us. That's something that you want to start on. You want to make sure that there's a contact form, that there's a real business behind this. Because like I state in my other video about how to check PBNs, you want to look for social proof and you want to look for a contact form and contact emails. Now, social proof, there should be some um, socials around, shouldn't there? But I can't see any. So that's another dead giveaway about, okay, well, is this website a real website? These are all red flags that would be raised to me. So if I can't find your about easily, which I'm struggling to see here, if I can't find your contact, you don't have a contact form, you don't have an email up, you don't have a phone number and address, red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. But for the sake of this video, let's just say that this website has all of them and I'm satisfied. They've got an about page, they've got all of this information. There's a phone number on there. There's even an address and it's in the States. It's just north of me. Let's just say that's what it is. That's what we found. Awesome. All right. What do we do from there? We throw it into SEMrush and we check it out. So you grab the domain and you throw it into SEMrush. Now, this is where you start in SEMrush. So authority score, does that really matter? No, it doesn't matter. What really matters is this stuff. Okay. Okay. So if you're trying to check if a website is safe for a backlink and it's safe from spam, well, you need to have a look at this. Check out this website. Back two years ago, less than, it had 30,000 site visitors a month. Well, what's it getting now? It's getting 2,000. That's a massive drop. Massive drop. That is not something that um, you're wanting to be bragging about. So that's a red flag for me. Would I want to check this if the, if I was if they reached out to me and said, "Hey, I'll give you a backlink." It's going to one of my tier 2s or tier 3s. It's not going to my money site. That's a first red flag. But let's just say that's fine as well. Where do we go from there? You also look at the keywords. See what they're ranking for. The keywords that they're ranking for is a great indication of what that website is about in the eyes of Google. Because if you think about it, Google's the overall master that will say, I believe you're this, that's why I'm ranking you for it. That's a great way of checking the category manually. Instead of throwing it into something like Majestic, that's how you can check out the category. You can see this. If they're talking about, as you can see here, wood in little alchemy, fallout, Duran forms, I'm guessing that might be like a game. These might be gaming type things. Well, if these types of keywords here, are, it's all around game. Like you've got four, Fallout 4, all of these types. Of, it might actually be a bit of a gaming sort of based website in the eyes of Google. So computer games, stuff like that. So let's say you're a general contractor. Would you want a link from this website? Again, another way that you can check. Look at the keywords to see what they're what ranking well for and that'll help determine the category of it. But let's say everything's awesome. Like it's bang, bang, bang. You're like, yes, this is this website's looking safe. I can get a backlink from this website. All right, cool. Where do you go? Well, the next thing you do is you go across into this stuff over here, backlink analytics. This is where you want to start checking and diving in deep. All right, so while we wait for this bad boy to load up, there's a couple of things that you really need to take note on here is you want to have a look at the referring domains and the outbound domains. Now, something that I always start with, let's say it's past my initial checks. Everything's looking good to this point. My eyes go directly to referring domains and across to outbound domains. If that is bad, 
if there's more outbound domains linked than this, I uh, immediately see you later. You're gone. You're not in my selection with the possibility of a backlink. I don't, I think that that website might be spam and it's not safe. So that's something to take note of. But as you can see, it's almost a one for one. So that's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. So what do you do from there? Well, first, then you want to go across to the referring domains and the total backlinks. Now, it's important to note that referring domains and backlink total are two different things. If Osborne Digital Marketing sends you a backlink, you're getting one referring domain and one backlink. But if Osborne Digital Marketing sends you one referring domain, uh, one link, uh, sorry, 10 links, there we go, you're getting one referring domain and 10 links. So that's what this number is. You do want to be a little bit cautious when it's drastically different. That's a big variation right there. So that's something that you want to pay attention to. So where do you begin from here? Well, there's a couple of things that I like doing. I like having a look at the stuff down here, just because it's a visual re representation of what I'm looking at. So as you can see, it's like, all right, this is quite interesting. We've gone from... 40 sort of thousand backlinks, 38,000 to 63,000. Like in a month. That's some impressive outrage there. I, I want to please tell me a secret about your email outrage because that's exceptional. I'd hire these people. <laughs> but as you can see, like this is uh, significant information because that is not natural. That is not a natural uh, thing right here. As you can see, for the last sort of year, quite stagnant, went nowhere, and then wabamo, 20,000 extra sort of domains. That's, uh, that's yeah, 20,000 extra backlinks. Very interesting. But referring domains tells you also a different story. So as you can see here, it was slowly, slowly, slowly picking up, and then it spiked again a bit, and then it just dropped off significantly. So it's almost back to where it started. It's actually past that. So that's something to pay attention to as well. You want to make sure that you're looking at all of that. Now, let's just say all that stuff's fine. So how would it look if it was okay? Well, you would see this slowly just going up. Maybe a few ups and downs, spikes, you know, a few troughs, a few peaks. But generally speaking, the trajectory is okay. There will be some ups and downs, but this is not natural. This right here is not natural. You see this, be concerned, okay? You see that, be concerned. Let me try and zoom in a little bit so you guys can get maybe a little bit more of a picture. So yeah, so that that's not natural. That's not natural. Now, where would you go from there? Now, I start with anchors. I'm, I'm backwards like that. But I like having a look at this because the way I want to check if a website is safe or a website spam for a backlink is I want to check what are they talking about. Remember, if you think about it logically, most people are going to send in anchor text contextually relevant to the things they're going after. Now, I don't want to link from an XXX site. Okay, that's not the game I play. That is not something that I do. Now, I want to make sure that they're not talking about that stuff either. Okay, if you go through the list of referring domains, you're going to have fun going through every single one of them. It's going to be a little bit painful. And you can look at the spam score, but as an example, you can be like Rode Microphone, this thing right here, the .com.au even, and that could be an XXX site. So you want to check that type of stuff. You want to check that. And bang, look at this. Casino finding best odds. Gaming, online casino, like biggest links right here. Red flag, I'm out of there. I haven't had to look and, and and miraculously be like, oh, that domain's talking about this. No, I've been able to literally come into the anchor text because this is the stuff that they're going to place importance on. So why look at the referring domains? Have a look here first. You'll save yourself some time. So have a look at all of this. Casinos, casinos, look at this. Banks, how to get 5,000 likes on Instagram. Like It's not looking like things that I want. So as you can see here, not looking good, guys. Casino online, I'm immediately out. Like, I'm out when I saw this, right? I'm gone skis. 
But let's just say everything's okay. It's talking about how to repair drywall, how to install the plumber, uh, how to find the best GUI attorney. Let's just say it's all fine. Everything looks normal and natural, which it should. It should look normal and natural. Then what do you do? Well, you would want to come across the referring domains. That's when you would start tearing these bad boys apart. So you can come in and have a look at the most powerful ones. Have a look because they're the ones that have the influence. You don't really care if there's a spammy one that has an authority score of like two because it doesn't have as much oomph. But if you've got some spammy stuff in there that's very, very high, red flag. Now, the other thing to take note of is let's just say again that this is a clean profile, which it's not. We saw from the anchor text. So see how difficult it is to actually dissect. Is this a good link or a bad link? Is that a good link or a bad link? Is that good? Is that good? I, I don't know. You need to know what all this stuff's about. The anchor text, it tells you. That's why go to the anchor text first. No one shows you that. Go to the anchor text first. That's where you do it. So as you can see, you have a look at it. You can go through, you can open up the links that it's sending. You can be like, okay, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? Quite time consuming. Anchor text, trust me. I just showed you the trigger the trade that no one shows you. Everyone's like, look at the backlink profile. Look at the anchor text. Look at the anchor text first. You're saving yourself a lot of time. So check all that stuff out. Okay, cool. Let's just say everything looks it looks hunky-dory. All of our really powerful pages that we go down. Now, where, where do I think you stop? I think you probably stop around 10, like authority score 10. After that, the other stuff could be a little bit of noise, but just scroll through and have a quick look. But as you can see, it's quite hard to figure out what these things are actually about. It's like, yeah, it might talk about this sort of stuff here, but it doesn't always do that, as you can see. And how accurate is it? How accurate is it? So the category is done by SEMrush. You can look with your own eyes at the anchor text. That's why I'm pushing that so hard, guys. That's why I'm pushing that so hard. Let's say all of that was cool, all right? Let's say all of that was cool. Another thing to note is looking for things like maybe your Bings in here, your Wixes, all of these types of Google sites, they can pass on a lot of authority. So they can actually boost the rank. So let's say you're looking at a website and the appeal is it's because it has a high authority score. All right, someone's sitting there, high DR. Someone goes, oh, it's got a 30 DR for you. And you're like, wow, that's a powerful link. But it's probably powerful because of all of those cheeky little tactics of web twos and that type of stuff so just be cautious if you are noticing google sites and those types of things in here your bings be cautious be very cautious because that's just being used to manipulate the authority score of the of the website now the other thing and the trick of the trade that i will show you that i do when i'm sitting on the fence from an awesome website this is what i do okay Let's say everything else up to this point has just been stellar. It's been fantastic. This website looks safe, looks like I could get a backlink from it. It's really, really good. Let's say, all right, cool. You know, everything was right. Everything was looking good. What do I do if I'm like, I don't know. I really want this, but is it right? And especially if it's for a picky client, right? If it's a picky client, you got to make sure it's right. So what do you do? Well, you do this. So let's just say, okay, if I was to get a link from this website, how would it impact my website, my money site? What's gonna happen? Try and scroll down and find a website that's in a similar niche to you. So let me just go down so it's not as many backlinks. So let's just say, do, 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 do. Let's go into the next page where it's not so many backlinks, so it just takes time to open up. But let's just say you have something Phrasing, thank you, Semrush. Here we go. Let me just try and go down to the lower number, guys, just so it doesn't do that again. Yep. So let's just say, here we go. Family handyman, this is you, right? This is you. You're in the home and gardening niche, okay? And you're like, okay, so if I was to get a link from this website, is that going to be safe or is it going to be spammy? How do you know? Well, this is what you do. So let's have a look. Have a look at a website that's in the same category as you and you want to try and find it in a relatively close timeline. So not something from a year ago, not from something from six months. 
try and be a month or something like that ago. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got something in, um, whoops, sorry. Uh, let's just see. So this was October. It is a little while ago, but just for demonstration purposes, and you can do this yourself. Now, what you would want to do is have a look at this and go, okay, if I get a link from this website, which they've sent a link specifically to this page right here, on October 3rd, it was picked up by SEMrush. Now, what you do is go back one month. So go back to, oh, wow, September. There we go. <laughs> took, me, <laughs> took me a minute. So go back to September and monitor from September all the way through to the end of November. Now, what you're looking for is this page right here. How did the keywords react in the cert? Did the keywords go up? Did the keywords go down? That's how you can really, really check if a backlink is actually going to help you or hinder you. Remember, you're looking for a website that's in the same niche, same power, so as much similarity as you can possibly muster, and then do this. And I promise you, this is another effective trick that no, you won't find anywhere else that can be utilized quite effectively. This is something that I do, again, when I'm sitting on the fence, I just don't know, but it's a good link. It's sort of a too good to pass up offer. This is essentially what I do. Is it going to be okay? This is how you can go in there and see how, it's how did it impact these guys? If you see that these guys went kabwamo after getting this link during that time frame, that three month time frame, bail. Do not get the link. That's it. That's your final check and that's it. But if everything else, if you notice there was a spike in keywords, get the link. Get the link. That's how you can check if a website is safe or spam. If I've showed you some new tips and uh, tricks, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you around, guys. Cheers.